my name is Justin Greenwalt, and today I want to talk about whether you should be using wood tipped sticks or plastic tipped sticks on your electronic drum set. You don't want this to happen to your drum head. I don't know if the camera can see it very well, but there are tiny little tears near the center of that drum head, and this is how to prevent that. Let's talk about wood tipped sticks first. There are some people on the internet that think that these are not safe for electronic drums. I think they're wrong. I've been using them for a while, and the one thing you got to know is that you should never use used sticks on electronic drums. Because electronic drums dent sticks, acoustic drums tear sticks apart. So, and they leave all kinds of splinters that can snag on your mesh head. So make sure they're brand new sticks, and you should be fine. Don't worry about it. And uh, those of you who use rubber pads, you guys are pretty much indestructible because nothing can damage those unless you're stabbing them with a knife. Now let's talk about plastic tipped drumsticks. These are generally seen as the safest electronic drumsticks, but you need to remember that there's a little ridge going around some of these because these are two pieces of plastic glued together. If the ridge is too sharp and big enough, it can actually snag on your mesh heads and uh, you don't want that to happen. So just take a piece of sandpaper and sand them down. It'll take you 30 seconds. And uh, if you want to avoid that altogether, just when you're at the drum shop, just feel it. If there's a ridge, don't buy it. So that's what I think about these sticks. Don't worry about what kind of stick you're using on electronic drums. Just make sure that it's a brand new stick and there's no ridge on the tip and you should be safe. The only sticks I wouldn't use on electronic drums are those metal practice sticks that are for strength building. And uh, anything other than that is pretty much safe. And even if you break through your drum head, you don't need to worry because with mesh heads, you're not actually damaging the drum set itself. You're just damaging the mesh head and you can go buy a new one. And uh, yeah, that's the great thing about mesh heads. If you damage like a silicone or a rubber pad, you actually have to throw them away and buy a new one. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, go check out my channel. I have tons of other videos like this and I will see you guys in the next video.